Hello everyone, Mike Money Gaming here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Holy crap, that slide is busy as hell. Um, max people are on ride, five, okay. Unlimited rides per admission? Well, no wonder. <clears throat> I'm sure people like ride it like 40 times. Um, hmm. Let's see, um... What are the thoughts for this? Yeah, I thought so. Um... Single... Ah, uh, must be closed? Oh, okay, never mind. Well, unfortunately, that's gonna screw people over. Hmm. Perfect timing for me to start my recording for that to just like do that. Broken down? For how long? Oh, I must have just broken down. Good, okay. It hasn't been down for that long, apparently. Ah, oh, man, he was fixing it, but I just totally forgot. I, I wasn't paying attention. Hopefully, you got to see that in the video. Is there any pass that I can attach this to? Because there's always a, it's always a good idea to have an extra uh, path. Will the trees get in the way? Let's see. No, surprisingly not. I mean, we haven't had anybody complaining about being lost in a while. So that must mean something. Okay, so, um... What else do we want to build? What do we have in terms of roller coasters? But yeah, there'd be nobody in a queue line. Snicker Falls. Okay. So I could use another log fume actually. Because a lot of people are enjoying that, so I could totally just make another one. Um custom design. Okay, so where do we want to build this? Problem. There's really not a there's really not a whole lot of space left for me to build on anymore. Let's zoom out a lot here. Oh wait a minute. Um, here's something I can do. So yeah, there's no land that I can buy, apparently. Damn, okay, so that's what I thought. Uh, but I want to build this log fume, so... Hold on. Can't build out here, because that's outside the park. Let's see... I don't want to make it too long, either, that's the problem.
Alright, tell you what, we'll build it like right here. Station platform. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that should be enough. Put it back to the front, please. Put those trees. I really hate doing that. Okay, hold on. Can I put more trees in someplace? To make up for all the trees that I'm destroying. There we go. And why not? One like super beautiful like cherry blossom tree. There we go. Okay. And the good thing about this is that you don't have to worry about it ever stopping because it will um, always be able to just keep going. afraid of that. Hold on. Let's just do something like that then. So I can still build that underneath. How much money do I got? Plenty? Okay. Okay, um, let's see if I can't say, say the this. So, no, uh, I don't know how much higher I can actually take this thing. Okay, apparently to there. Alright, and now we need to just get it back to the end. <sighs> Alright, luckily it's not too hard, it looks like. Kill all the plants. <laughs> Ugh, come on. Fucking trees. Oh, they're not gonna like this. <laughs> oh well, I never claimed to be good at this. Perfect! I like that. Alright, and um... 
Now we just need to build the entrance and exit. But we build them here and here. That should be okay. About 240. Ah, I like that. That actually looks really good. <laughs> nice! Okay. And, um... The boats. Let's make them red. <laughs> Mike, you're weird as hell! What in the world is with you? <laughs> anyway, 20. Okay. And let's get to work building our uh, things. Huh, yeah, we'll use a uh, green like typical. Right, let's go this way. Here's the fun part. I don't know how this is going to work. I might actually have to go to... Oh, no. Okay. Let's go down, please. A couple times. To get it underneath here. Then go that way, just like that. And boom! Alright. Open this sucker up. Shake our hands a little bit to get blood back into them. And this should definitely uh, get us some more funds. How much is the other lock fume ride, actually? Just out of curiosity. I remember I tried adding a queue line to like information kiosks and stuff. It doesn't work, just in case you're wondering. Alright, so let's see. Um, no, that's the roller coaster. That's right, Snake River Falls. How much do they want for that? Three bucks, okay. Well, mine's not as expansive as that, so I think it'll be okay with my price. Oh my god, we are so close. I, mean, I never saw like what the rating for this was. <coughs> I mean, people are riding it, so it must be at least somewhat fun. But, I mean, there's just times where, like, nothing's going on, so I want to see how the excitement level is and see if I need to add some things next to it, if possible, which I, ha I can add some stuff there. These poor people are now all soaked in, <laughs> like, it's like, pouring rain. <laughs> it looks like people will ride this in the rain, though, anyway, I mean... I mean, I guess I don't see why not, I mean, it's a water ride, so it's not like it's gonna be dangerous to ride in the rain. Oh, they're not stuck somewhere, are they? Because I'm not seeing any of them, like... Oh, okay, they're over there. I was like, I'm not seeing any of them getting back yet. What the shit? <laughs> I should have added more stuff to this. This is probably not going to be very exciting right here. Oh, my God. Okay, well, we can just go off and... 
look at other stuff while that's there. It won't hurt anything. Ooh, cotton candy stalls. Popularity is zero percent. Hmm. Interesting. What are people saying about it, though? I'm not paying that much. Oh, I see. Yeah, no wonder. I was like, that's not getting any, uh, things. Oh, okay, here we go. We got 5.14. That's not bad. Intensity is low as hell, so that's good. Um, I can probably actually make that a little bit better um, by adding some fountains right here. There we go. That should at least add something. Ah, oh, I forgot to look at what it was, so it's probably like, it was like, it was like probably about 0.2% is what it usually does, but I just like to like, think that it's probably a little bit higher. I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's say I did set my timer, right? <laughs> All right, so how are we doing? Yes! We're at 20,000! Woohoo! We did it! Now we just have to survive at that amount for, um, another, uh, year. Okay. So. You know how they say, anything that can go wrong will? So at this point, what you should do is you should go around and check to see how long, like, how long everything that you have is supposed to be, um, inspected for and start, like, hiring a bunch of mechanics. Like, this is the point, if you're not really gonna, if you don't think you're gonna be building a lot more stuff, just go nuts on hiring mechanics, because you can afford to have a bunch of them, so, you know, it's always a good idea to just go ahead and hire a bunch at this time. Candyman's too. Alright, um. But yeah, just kinda go ahead and hire yourself a pl like plenty of people to help yourself out. Because you never know when, um, something bad is going to happen. Are those trash cans destroyed? I can't tell. Uh, one such way that a trash can will actually get destroyed is if it doesn't get emptied fast enough. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, yeah. So we're making about... Um... give or take a thousand like every so often like well in July we had some trouble with some of our um, things I'm sure so that didn't help us much okay let's check out the thoughts of our people I feel sick of course I'm hungry okay I want to go home okay Double launcher is really good value, which is I could probably put it up a little bit higher. Uh, I've been standing in line for Snake River Falls for ages. Too bad there's like nothing cool that I can put um, 
over here to kind of give them something to stare at, you know, while they are waiting for the ride, you know. Because that, like, really helps out if you're capable of putting, like, neat little trinkets next to your um, rides and stuff because it kind of keeps their mind off of um, being bored in line. They're like, hey look, you can look at the awesome little fountain over there. What's wrong, buddy? He just seems a little down in the dumps. You know, I remember uh, after playing this game one time, I went and played one of the new ones. Uh, and I was like, thinking about it, and I just thought it was funny how, um, it just seems like, when you are playing this one you are used to the simplicity of it because like you notice that you don't have very much stuff to choose from in these scenery things which reminds me I might as well put that on there now ah the monorail so all the gentle rides are done so we don't have to worry about looking those up anymore so I'm gonna put scenery on there put that back Oh, yeah, I said I was going to build a um, chairlift anyway. Cars hang from steel cable which runs continuously from one end of the chairlift to the other and around large turnaround wheels at each end. Okay, um, usually what they do with these is they will put them um, like throughout the park so you can kind of get an aerial view of the park, right? So, let me see if I can't find a good spot for that. So, oh, it also has multiple stations, too. Not always, but it can. Does the railroad have multiple stations? Yes, it does. Usually, um, chairlifts don't, though, so that's why I'm kind of like, uh, you know. I have $27,000 here. Since everything's going well so far, let's go ahead and save our game. Um, I try not to save my game too much, I'll be honest with you viewers, because um, I learned the hard way that if you save really often, if something goes wrong, like say for example, um, you end up losing buckets of money because of something going wrong and then you immediately fail and lose um, you can go back if you have a save point like you know like a year or two before that and fix it you know like you can just fix it so it's not a problem anymore uh, how about we start it here I think this will be good one two oh you can barely tell how many there's one two three four five I think should be good Okay, yeah, it's just a station platform, I thought, so... Okay, so, um... I used to love chairlifts as a kid. I'll just uh, change the subject here. We used to have one at um, the zoo in my hometown, but um, they had to get rid of it. And there was lots of rumors as to why, like they said people fell to their deaths from it. There was rumors that um, it like cost too much to keep it in running and stuff and like all that. And they finally made a um, like kind of museum-like thing for our um, zoo and like it said yes there used to be a chairlift here and 
all the doubts that you had about it are going to be answered here. And so, like, some of the doubts that people had were like, well, was it because, you know, someone died? And they're like, no, nobody ever died on it or anything like that. Um, the cost of it was too much, so we had to close it because of that. And I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. Okay, so, like, yeah. So I was right. Okay, um, hold on. Um, one, two, three, four, f I think it was like five, is right? Because you don't want to accidentally make more stations than you need. Um, hold on. Oh, we're out of time. Um, so I'm going to actually finish the chairlift construction off screen because, like, don't worry, there's not much that I need to do for that anyway. And um, we'll do one more episode since I thought we would be at least somewhat close to being finished by this point. So I'm going to do one more episode and then um, we'll kind of do an aerial view of our park right now and see just how beautiful it looks. But my plan is to have at least maybe two station stops for this chairlift thing to kind of give ourselves a, um, you know, like break in the, between the lines or whatever you say. But that's all for now. I will see you guys in the next episode. Till then, bye.